Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared and here we have a new petrified fish, the PFP05 Deep Sea. Comes in two different versions, you can see right there. Um, and then here is all the little specs on it. You can see we have K110 steel, K110 steel, D2 steel. Um, we'll talk more about that here in a second. Straight back blade, not a trailing point. It is a straight back, and we're going to go into exactly what tra what straight backs are good for here in one second. Then we have a carbon fiber handle. Now, this one's a little bit special because this carbon fiber, it's like, I don't know what they call it. If it's like a side cut section, it's not the side cut section because these, you can see the side cut section. If you look right here, I love the look of this carbon fiber on the side cut section. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. But throughout all right here, you can see the side cut section really good. It looks really good. Plays with the light really nice. I love it. Then I absolutely love this white carbon fiber. Oh, does that look good. It looks like rattlesnake skin or something. Yeah, absolutely really cool. Then the thickness of the handle and the way it's shaped this is mega comfortable. They did not put a deep carry clip on there, so it's gonna make it even more comfortable. Yeah, this is on another level of comfort. It is so comfortable, and you have a little spot right there you can choke up. Um, you, ha you know, have a little bit of a ramp, not really, but a little bit of a spot for your thumb. Um, like I said, not a deep carry clip, but the clip will probably work really good, but even better in the hand, you don't feel it whatsoever. Um, now, Let's talk about the action and then we'll talk about the blade. So it has a flipper tab with some jimping right there. It prefers a light switch and it kicks out there really good. You can fail it, but <laughs> especially if you knock it into my table, you can fail it if you really try, but you have to like right there, I was trying. Yeah, you, ha you have to really try though. Um, as long as you're attempting to flip it, it's gonna flip with authority every time. Good access to the lock bar. They did cut it back right there. Nice and comfortable to disengage. Detent is nice, not real early, but it's early enough to get past. And a couple little shakes and she's really smooth. She's still breaking in, but she's definitely drop shutty. Not quite fall shut, but very, very smooth on the drop. Um, now, Blade shape, straight backs, what are they good for? So one thing they're not good for is utility cuts because you have to lift up so high to get to the tip. Now, of course you can get by with them. You need to open up a package or a box or something like that. Yeah, you're fine. If you need to do a couple precision utility cuts, you can get by, but you're not gonna wanna do them all day because you're not gonna, the tip, you just don't have a lot of control over it as far as pointing down. However, the blade shape's really good for, say, cutting rope. You can really use the, the belly, you know, like say if you have a rope to cut, meat to cut, um, skinning, things like that. Self-defense. This is a, a, a perfect blade shape for self-defense. Everywhere you aim your, your arm at or your, your hand at, the tip is up sweeping into. So even if you go into a reverse grip, you know, same thing everywhere you aim it's aiming so fantastic self-defense blade shape and then also it's really good for some edc things now reverse grips is not going to be the best now of course you can get by if you need to cut some ropes you can but you have to worry about the the rope slipping up and around the edge when you go to pull so you want to cant your wrist a little bit when you do it but for pinch grips you know slicing this way or breaking down cardboard things like that amazing it's you're going to be able to keep things right there at an angle and you have such a good leverage point because of the handle that you have maximum leverage pushing down so slicing cutting rope cutting as long as you're going forward not backwards and then self-defense and it's going to be great so regular slicing which is majority of what people use their knife for thing is, is utility cuts there's a primary thing people use their edc knives for this one, you know, you can still do it. You can still get by with it. It's just not going to be something you're going to want to use all day if you, that's all you're doing. Anyways, um, the grind is really good. Gets down pretty good geometry. Let's check the thickness behind the edge. Um, feels like it's pretty thin. Yeah, 13 thousandths behind the edge. That's pretty good. Um, full flat grind, and it's got a nice broad blade. 
good geometry, not too robust of a spine. I mean, it's pretty thick, but it's, you know, you've got a long way to go. Beautiful sharpening drill and plunge grind. And you can, like I said, use that, you know, if you really needed to, you know, you can comfortably use that, that belly. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm liking it. Um, G10 backspacer, steel liners. You can see there's lots of milling. It's very lightweight for the size. It's actually, it, it feels almost lighter than it should be because it's all carbon fiber. So when you get it in your hand, you're expecting it to be heavier than it is. I mean, it's a big knife, at least for me. Um, it's a big knife, but it feels a lot lighter than it is in size. But yeah, only 64 bucks, not a bad price for the carbon fiber. And then K110, K110, basically D2. It's gonna go best with a toothy edge. I would say stick around 300 to 600 grit. I like all my D2 K110 at 600 grit. I think that's the perfect spot for it. Some people like theirs a little bit toothier and I have had some cases where that that's the case even for me. So, you know, like 400, 450 grit, something like that does really good. So I, I you know, usually go right around 600 because that's where I can get an edge that's fine enough to do the finer tasks, yet it's really toothy and has a lot of bite and D2 likes a toothy edge. Um, it just, it holds it really well. You know, as long as it's heat treated, it holds it really well. And it seems like that's what it does best with is a toothy edge. Um, and the only thing is, you know, with corrosion, you're going to want to keep it oiled, keep it clean. If you just keep it dry and clean, you, you're most likely going to be just fine. But I would say every couple months, throw a little oil on there um, and just to protect it. But anyways, um, but just a quick look at this guy. Um, so far, I'm liking it. I'm definitely going to carry and give it some testing. Um... And yeah, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.